if you could trace back what was the point in time when the opportunities started to roll in faster was it an audition was it a festival was it i'm still waiting uh i'm still waiting for those opportunities you know no one you know no one's calling my phone uh so i mean you know i my story is really you know the person that is is talent hard work and being a good human being is why why i'm working um you know that's really just what it is you know i feel like i outwork most people um i feel like my my talent is pretty diverse um and then just being a good person you know it's kind of like having those relationships so even like from rush hour to tv series to macgyver cbs asked me to do macgyver because they knew i had kept positive energy on the set of rush hour during those long hours and chaotic days that, you know, they knew I was still a, a, a good person and a good, cha- a good sport about all of that. So that's why they said, okay, let's have him on MacGyver because he's a good person to have on, on one of our sets. Which one, which one of those shows came first for you? Was it um, rush hour rush hour came first mm-hmm. and what was the process of getting the role in rush hour? Cause it's a big role for those of you who don't remember is the movie, rush hour with uh jackie chan and chris tucker and you got you were the role of chris tucker in the tv show how was that what was that process like of getting that um it was it was kind of extensive because technically i was attached to a a mtv pilot with ken jong at the time and they didn't know if they was picking it up mtv and i think they wanted to do some recasting with one of the leads so it was it was kind of in limbo whether or not that show was actually going to make it to air and I had heard about the Rush Hour auditions. And I actually went with Atheon. Atheon I went with Atheon Crockett to his audition because we, we were about to go do a show in San Diego uh, one weekend. So I rode in the car with Atheon to his audition. You know, he had a great audition, his initial audition. And we got in the car and went down to San Diego. So I was like, dang, I was like, man, I would love to audition for this. So my, my manager at the time, I told her, you know, like, yo, I want to audition for Rush Hour. And she was like, well, Justin, they're not going to see you because you're already attached to this MTV pilot. So, you know, is there a a smaller role that you want to audition for? And I'm like, I fuck what I want to audition for a smaller role, you know, when they're auditioning for Carter, you know, the lead character. Like, what are you what are you saying? Luckily, I had did the CBS Diversity Showcase in 2011. Uh, And the CBS Diversity Showcase is basically SNL, but just for industry folks. So it's not televised, but it's like we do it in a theater. They get a cast together and basically it's like the industry get to see like who's the top up and coming comedians uh, in in the city of L.A. So and in my group that year was me, Tiffany Haddish, Hassan Minaj, uh, Fortune Feimster, London Brown, who's on Ballers on HBO. So it was a solid group of us in that cast that year. And you were all doing stand-up or sketches? Sketches. So we're all doing sketches. So so you rehearse for maybe two or three months, writing, working on the sketches, and then you have a showcase for like two or three days for industry. Um, luckily, um, there was a, a casting director, Fern. They couldn't find who they wanted for the Carter role for Rush Hour. Um, and they, they was going to go with uh, T.I. Orig- they was thinking about going with T.I., but for whatever reason, they didn't want to go with T.I., so they were still looking for a role, but it was like, yo, it's either we're going to cast somebody for this role or we're not doing the pilot because we can't find anybody. Like they had, they auditioned like every comedian and rapper and R&B singer, I think, in LA and New York and all that stuff. So luckily, Fern from the CBS Diversity Showcase remembered me. And she was like, let's have Justin come in and audition. So I came in, it was, I, I went in the last audition that they were having for rush hour there was like if we don't find somebody out of this group we're not even filming this this pilot basically here's here's what i mean by doing you i was told that from from one of the casting's assistants you know don't go over the top don't do too much you know just playing natural don't you know don't try to be too funny and i'm thinking well i grew up on rush hour so i'm not gonna listen to you to tell me how to play Carter like I grew like I'm naturally I'm naturally the fast talking loud black guy that's who I am naturally 
you know, it, I don't have to act, <laughs> you know, I'm naturally loud, I'm naturally black, <laughs> so, and I naturally talk fast, you know, so I went in there and just did me. Sure enough, they asked me to do a callback. I did my callback, and then uh, I was actually in Austin, Texas, with Atheon. I had just landed. We was about to do um, South by Southwest weekend, basically, in Austin, Texas. Soon as I landed, I'm talking about I had just checked into the hotel. I get a call from my manager saying, yo, um, CBS wants you to fly back. They want you to test for rush hour tomorrow um, with the dude that they picked to play the the um the the uh Jackie Chan gotcha. character John his name was John Fu. Uh and so I had to immediately go back to the airport. They was they paid for everything on Warner Brothers. They was like we going to pay for his flight and all of that. So I was like if they paying for my flight, they must really want to see me. Um and so they paid for my flight to get me right back out to LA and then the next day I auditioned. And you know, a shout out to my manager because even though she uh discouraged me from auditioning originally once I did audition and they they wanted me to do my callback on tape she knew one of the casting directors uh one of the casting executives at CBS and she made sure to send my uh callback tape directly to him so he could see it you know so she did help out in that once the ball got rolling 